here Joe's today and show you some of the stuff I pick up here that you can't get anywhere else um, so starting reduced guilt chicken salad uh, 2.5 grams fat 4 grams carbs 14 protein and so what we'll do is we'll chop a bell pepper in half stick it right on there it's very good people can be so lazy that they don't want to cook chicken so if you feel like paying double the amount for cooked chicken breast or you're on the go just stop into a Trader Joe's grilled chicken breast and it's, it's uh, not cooked with any oil or any bullshit so you got that there so I'm gonna get this um, I cook my own chicken so I'm not buying that but it's definitely good to know about if you're in a pinch green beans the reason I like these because I don't have to cook these vegetables if I have my chicken made throw it in tubware these throw it in tubware done and then I got samples peanut butter and I'll dip these in. You should measure your peanut butter and you can't do that with this, but I'll just take this, dip it in the peanut butter for the girl. So, so I'm definitely gonna get these bell peppers. I don't wanna have to pick these. Spinach are two dollars and they're always fresh. And then butterhead lettuce is my favorite lettuce. So these are two dollars too. I'll mix them together. And then I also get cauliflower rice. Now a lot of people hate on this. It's because they don't know how to cook it down right. You gotta cook down cauliflower rice to get it right. So do that and diced onions with taco seasoning. It's very good. So I'm gonna get a lot of these. There you go. Mushrooms and mushrooms too. It's cornbread and um, whiskey. <laughs> Okay, so these are chicken thighs, and I'm eating low carb right now, so I'm eating fattier meats. And with eight ounces of chicken breast, you have three grams of fat. If you have eight ounces of chicken thighs, it's only eight grams of fat, so it's a five gram of fat difference. Not a whole lot for the taste. Um, they also hold up in the microwave like days after, way better. So I'm gonna get a few of these. I like these a lot. And I am gonna get I like the turkey cutlets they have here, wherever it is. Turkey cutlets, very lean, and I might mix them together. I'm also gonna get some red meat. I'm gonna go with a, uh, where's the 96? It's a 90, 96% lean ground beef. A chicken sausage. These are seven grams of fat and 20 grams of protein for one leak. So you need 40 grams of protein, 14 grams of fat. Um, and I'll put that in a low carb soy pasta. And I also love the turkey bacon here, it's better than anywhere else. So that right there. Staying low carb for right now until my retention from the contest comes off. And I might do something a little bit special because I'm gonna have my dad over on Sunday for some barbecuing. This is for an event. So I've had a lot of lower fat cheddar and a lot of the time it is, um, it's not as good but the Trader Joe's light uh, shredded blend is very good. And it is four grams of fat a serving, eight grams of protein, which is really high in protein for cheese. So how they do this is they reduce the skin from it. They're not adding chemicals to lower the fat. So I had somebody one time bite me on that. I'm gonna try this jalapeno lime almond dip. It's three grams of fat per serving. Um, they have a reduced gilt guacamole. It's made primarily out of Greek yogurt, but they're fucking out of it, and I love that one. Um, so I'm really bummed about that. I'm gonna give this smoked salmon dip a try. So it's made out of salmon, so the fat content is omega. So that is good for you. I think, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm gonna do like a vegetables and maybe a lean meat. Let's see how it goes on like a, I don't know, but it looks good, so I'm gonna get it. Cream meats. Garlic cucumber dip. That's no. really good. Yeah. If you don't know by now, 
if you're a client of mine, you've heard me talk about it. They don't make anything like this anywhere. I've never had anything else that tasted like this. Is that off? Oh my god, it's incredible. Cowboy caviar. I put it on somebody's meal plan one time, and they um, were like, do I really have to eat caviar? And I'm like, no, no, it's salsa. <laughs> so, and then they have it. I don't know if you're into this, but it's a low-fat queso dip. I'm gonna get it. So I'm gonna use the cauliflower rice, I'm gonna use taco seasoning, and the onions, and asparagus. I'm gonna put a little turkey bacon in it, make a mix, use my chicken thighs, and then I'm gonna use that salsa. That's gonna be the bomb. We're gonna go get some uh, coconut, uh, coconut water, and uh, maybe some frozen berries and peanut butter. I think that'll be a day. Can't forget about Huey. He's gonna be happy like about Trader Joe's is if you come in the frozen meal section you can actually find some really healthy stuff the seafood is super legit they have different mixes of roasted vegetables that are frozen that are really good and then you can find some meals if you look for it you can find certain meals um, like this one here <clears throat> saucy scallops with mushrooms if you didn't know scallops are very high in protein and this is actually only seven grams of fat of serving there's no carbs except for what's in the, the mushrooms. The other thing is if you like, if you're a crab cake person, which you should be, um, these are very good too. These are no carbs, no fat, 11 protein. So actually, I'm gonna have these tonight. So that's that. I'm not gonna buy this today. I've had it a million times. I'm kind of burnt out on it, so moving on. Sauces and stuff here are amazing. Um, you can find really good stuff here. I really don't need any of it because I'm already stocked up, so I'm just kind of doing it for you. So, oh, I do need. Beans. Um, it's about as far as with the carbs I think I'm gonna go, but beans and my all-time favorite hot sauce. Green Dragon hot sauce. That shit. That's the handful of almonds. They have the cashews and I believe the, the trail mix and they individually pack little packets in here to keep you from being stupid. Another thing I will do on a low-carb diet is I'm not afraid of putting fat in. But, you know, um, it's low carb, so you have a lot more room to play. I'll use Alfredo, and I'll put it on asparagus. So these asparagus is kind of a noodle. Um, so if you ain't know, now you know. And marinara, I know I don't have any at home, so I'm gonna make sure I always have marinara. You're not Italian if you don't have marinara. All right, so this is where we're gonna end the video. This right here is really good. Um, step back a little bit. We're this is my favorite place for peanut butter. Cause they're off two bucks, man. Usually peanut butter is like six bucks. Cookie butter. Oh my god. There's nothing good about this. You can put it in your house. But it's, I mean, it's amazing. <laughs> yeah, that's about it, guys. I'm gonna regret this, but I'm gonna try this. It's uh, cocoa almond butter, 13 fat. Two protein, 21 carbs. <laughs> okay, I'll take it back. Never mind. Okay, so at the buzzer, Sarah asked one of the employees to go in the back and look for this. Guilt, reduced guilt, chunky guacamole. And it's mainly uh, Greek yogurt. So as normal serving of guacamole have like nine to 10 grams of fat, it says two, and it's only 30 calories a serving, and it really does taste just like guacamole. So, I'm gonna do a little bonus round for you and I'm gonna cook uh, a low carb meal that I love 
just to add it into the video because a lot of people are freaked out about cauliflower rice and it's really good man it's really fucking good you just gotta know how to do it yeah all right so i did uh chopped asparagus and bell peppers and then i dumped these diced onions in there i'm gonna grill that up with um the rice cauliflower and over here i got these are ground chicken honestly once you mix this mix it's gonna be like a mexican taco seasoning mix uh, you can put whatever meat you want to put in there, whatever your heart desires. I need a spatula. Um, you can put whatever whatever kind of meat you want in there. This is actually kind of a high fat meat, so it's like, I don't know, six grams of fat for four ounces. These are eight ounces each. So you can use like shrimp or chicken breast or whatever. But if you haven't had, if you haven't had ground chicken yet, oh my god, dude, it's it's like the hidden gem that nobody knows about. It has its own texture. Turkey bacon. So as far as turkey bacon, does it hit the spot like um, regular bacon? Not by itself. But if you put turkey bacon in things, I think it's just as good. Um, and it has, it's usually pretty high in protein and pretty low in fat. So it's a really good actual like meat. Very high in sodium. So just be aware of that. I don't mind sodium because I work out every day. So I need that sodium to get good pumps. Boom, so we're done with that. That is a whole plate of rice, cauliflower, bell peppers, turkey bacon, um, chicken. The only carbs that come in into this meal are the ones that are in the uh, vegetables. And I'm gonna use this one time. Be bye.